Diabetic nephropathy is a condition characterized by kidney damage that occurs as a result of long-term diabetes. It is a common complication of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Understanding the mechanisms behind this kidney damage is important for managing the condition and preventing further complications. The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and excess fluids from the blood, maintaining the body's electrolyte balance, and regulating blood pressure. However, in diabetes, high blood sugar levels can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys over time, leading to a condition called microalbuminuria. Microalbuminuria refers to the presence of small amounts of the protein albumin in the urine, which is an early sign of kidney damage. As the condition progresses, the kidney's ability to filter waste and excess fluids diminishes further, resulting in a significant loss of protein in the urine, a condition known as macroalbuminuria or proteinuria. The damage to the kidneys can eventually lead to a decrease in kidney function. Known as chronic kidney disease, CKD, or even end-stage renal disease, ESRD, where the kidneys fail to function adequately. Several factors contribute to the development and progression of diabetic nephropathy. Persistent high blood sugar levels, high blood pressure, hypertension, genetic predisposition, and certain lifestyle factors, such as smoking and obesity, can increase the risk of kidney damage in diabetes. Managing diabetic nephropathy involves a multifaceted approach. Tight glycemic control, achieved through a combination of diet, exercise, and medication, is essential in preventing or slowing the progression of kidney damage. Blood pressure control is also crucial, as hypertension can further exacerbate kidney damage. Medications that specifically target the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, such as ACE inhibitors or ARBs, are often prescribed to help control blood pressure and protect the kidneys. Additionally, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and avoiding smoking, is important in managing diabetic nephropathy. Dietary modifications may include reducing salt intake and limiting protein consumption to reduce the strain on the kidneys. Dot. Monitoring and managing other cardiovascular risk factors, such as cholesterol levels, are also important in preventing complications. Regular monitoring of kidney function through urine and blood tests is crucial for detecting and managing diabetic nephropathy. Early intervention and treatment can help slow down the progression of kidney damage and reduce the risk of complications. Mechanisms of kidney damage. High blood sugar levels, persistent hyperglycemia can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste effectively. Increased glomerular filtration rate, GFR, the kidneys may experience an increased workload due to hyperfiltration, which can contribute to kidney damage. Oxidative stress, high blood sugar levels can lead to the production of reactive oxygen species, causing cellular damage in the kidneys. Inflammatory processes, chronic inflammation in the kidneys can contribute to the progression of kidney damage. Medications for diabetic nephropathy. Angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, these medications, such as enalapril and lisinopril, help dilate blood vessels and reduce blood pressure. They also have a specific protective effect on the kidneys by reducing proteinuria and slowing down the progression of kidney damage. Angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, similar to ACE inhibitors, ARBs like losartan and valsartan help lower blood pressure and reduce proteinuria. They block the effects of angiotensin II, a hormone that constricts blood vessels and increases blood pressure. Sodium glucose co-transporter 2 SGLT2 inhibitors, these newer class of medications, including empagliflozin and dapagliflozin, primarily used for managing diabetes, have shown promising effects in reducing the risk of kidney disease progression. They work by blocking the reabsorption of glucose in the kidneys and reducing hyperfiltration. Mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists, MRAs, medications like spironolactone and aplerinone, commonly used to treat high blood pressure and heart failure, can also help reduce proteinuria and slow down the progression of kidney damage. Diuretics, these medications, such as furosemide and thiazide diuretics, can help control fluid retention and reduce blood pressure. They may be prescribed in combination with other medications to manage fluid overload and edema. It's important to note that medication choices may vary depending on individual patient factors, such as blood pressure levels, kidney function, and the presence of other medical conditions. Treatment plans should be personalized and determined in consultation with a healthcare professional, such as a nephrologist or endocrinologist. In addition to medication, lifestyle modifications play a crucial role in managing diabetic nephropathy. These include maintaining a healthy diet, regular physical activity, smoking cessation, limiting alcohol consumption, and controlling weight. 
These lifestyle changes can help optimize overall health and contribute to the management of kidney damage and diabetes. Regular monitoring of kidney function and adherence to the prescribed treatment plan are essential for effectively managing diabetic nephropathy and preventing further complications.